process for an academic offense case is long and the consequences are often severe. Depending on the specific case, the consequences can range from a marked deduction on the assignment, to zero on the assignment, to further grade reductions, to suspension, to expulsion. The consequences someone would face are called sanctions. The sanctions in a case will depend on the context and seriousness of the offense, if this is a repeat offense, and when in the process someone admits the offense. For instance, forging doctor's notes and using purchase work are examples of very severe offenses. Let's walk through the process to highlight what happens at each of its parts and what the sanctions can be. Please note that the Code of Behavior on Academic Matters supersedes any information in this video. Refer to the code for full details. If you've been suspected of an academic offense, you'll receive an email from your professor to discuss the allegations. The professor will show you the work or state the situation. He or she will explain why an academic offense may have been committed. You can explain what happened to the professor. Be honest about your situation. If the professor is satisfied that an offense was not committed, they can choose not to pursue that matter. If the professor suspects that an academic offense has been committed, or if you skip the meeting, your case will be forwarded to the department chair. Your professor cannot assign a penalty to an academic offense. If the assignment is worth 10% or less, you admit to committing an offense and it is your first academic offense, the department chair can assign a sanction, up to a mark of zero for the assignment in question. Depending on the severity of the case, the chair can forward the case to the office of the dean for additional consequences. Some of the possible sanctions can range from an additional grade reduction to a one-year suspension from the University of Toronto. If you do not admit to the offense, you'll meet with the dean or the dean's designate. The office of the dean will invite you to a formal meeting through your mail.utoronto.ca email. While you're waiting to have the meeting, connect with UTMSU for advice and information about your rights and responsibilities. You can also contact the Academic Integrity Unit in the office of the dean for support. You can bring a Downtown Legal Services representative, the Student Rights Coordinator, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, or a family member to the meeting. If you admit to the offense, the Dean can resolve the case by imposing a sanction. The sanctions can range from a grade reduction to a one-year suspension. If you do not admit to the offense, your case can be taken to the tribunal or it can be dismissed. The tribunal will have three panel members who will determine if you are guilty or not guilty of the academic offense. It is highly recommended that you have a representative of the downtown legal services or a lawyer with you. If you're not sure how to access these resources, connect with UTMSU or the Academic Integrity Unit. If you're found not guilty, the case is dropped. If the tribunal finds that you are guilty of the academic offense, they will impose sanctions. At the tribunal level, the consequences can range from grade reductions to expulsion from the university, depending on the case. If you don't agree with the sanctions that you receive, you can appeal. For more information on this process, visit this website. You can avoid the penalties of academic misconduct by ensuring that your learning is fair and honest. Sometimes it's challenging to remember our commitment to academic integrity, but there are a variety of resources at UTM to support you. Academic integrity is everyone's responsibility. To learn more about academic integrity, visit the UTM Academic Integrity website.